We're trying to make sense of this as we go. I was listening to some of your commentary earlier, and we're trying to field uh, where people's heads are yeah. on this. No one better than you uh, to take the calls with. So as Dusty gets them, we'll take yeah. them. But where's your head at? Yeah, so, you know, it's interesting. As listening to Matt, one of the things I was thinking about is this is why the New York case from a public relations perspective is so bad for the DOJ. That New York case is a weak case. It's a case where the timing is suspect. It's a case where it smells of politics. And so people have now that in the back of their head. And they say, okay, now we come into this case and you're telling me in the wake of the New York case, but we gotta stop. We can say, I've looked at that New York case. I don't think it's a good case. But you know what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna immediately say, okay, and therefore that means the federal case isn't strong either. This is a different case, entirely different facts, entirely different law. And where I disagree with Matt a little bit is he's sort of lumping it all in together. If they're charging, this is one of the things I was going to say in my introduction here, if they're charging one of the counts with the retention of national defense information, right, not just the charge on the retention of classified documents, not just the obstruction of justice charge, but also this national defense information. It means that they believe this isn't just about documents that had a classified marking on it. It means they think this was sensitive stuff. Mm -hmm. They think this was big deal stuff. Now they're going to have to deliver, right? Now we get to wait. Let's see what's in that indictment. Let's see what they have. But I think it's very important to pause and not just sort of play either the game of, yeah, he got indicted or... Well, this is just another one, and say, let's see what they got. Mm -hmm. Let's look at it. I mean, even Alan Dershowitz on your show said the same thing. I want to see it. I want to see what they got. But, but again, everyone's sort of coming in with these attitudes of either you know, doubting or crediting immediately, I think are doing the country a disservice in a case that's this important. Yes. But that's why, to me, it goes back to whether or not you bring the case. And I totally get why people would jump on me and say, what do you mean? We have to, you know, that's uh, our national code is the law. That's what we must. Yeah, I know. But timing matters. And I do think that and, and I get that this is anathema and I would fail a Dershowitz test if I were to put this answer down. But he's not going after you, which would be bad enough. You know, a well-known TV journalist that that would be bad. You better have something. But you're going after a guy who's a former president who's leading on the ticket was running, most likely going to be one of two choices for president, yep. right, at this point. You better go after him with something that merits the size of the target. Now, people will say, no, no, that's not how the law works. I know. But it's politics and law. And I believe that the documents themselves, what you were referring to, uh, the national defense component, is not just about materiality, which would be the triggering mechanism for the law, but it's everything politically. Yeah. If this is not impressive stuff, and the only word I've heard that it is was hearsay about Trump saying that it was, that it was plans to attack Iran, one of the things that he kept. I don't know that that's true. Yeah. But if it's not impressive to the American people, Dan, yep. they do get lumped together. Look, look, I'll say this right at the outset. I think it's bad for the country that there's an indictment. I, I think that's true. But that doesn't mean you don't bring the case. I know. I, I mean, and, and that's the point, is it breaks my heart. And, and, and I think about this, and I wish there wasn't an indictment. I don't want there to be an indictment. I don't want Donald Trump to be guilty of it. I wish he had just given the stuff back. Right, but, but if the evidence is what they say, which is not just a subpoena was issued and that they blew it off, but they have evidence of intentionality and it was important stuff, big time stuff. You got both those things, then you have to charge. Mm. And, and, and that's where we got to wait, right? That's where we're going to have to wait and see because you know, he... Of all the crimes that they were investigating on, him on, he got charged with every one of them, mm -hmm. right? We were talking about all sorts of possible reten illegal retention of documents, got charged with it. Obstruction of justice, got charged with it. Conspiracy, got charged with it. And the national defense information, got charged with it. I mean, you know, th this means that, that either they're vastly overplaying their hand or they have an enormous amount of evidence. Or they have some, and or they have somebody who was part of the efforts to conceal it, saying and, this is what he wanted to do and why. And my understanding is this is going to be what's called a speaking indictment. And that means, as you know, that they are going to lay out in great detail exactly what they have, which I think is 
absolutely critical here. Right. You cannot play the game in a case like this where you say, well, you know, we're going to retain the information until the trial and it'll come out. That, you have to release it. Shouldn't have done it with, in Bragg. Uh, on the state level, he could have yep. given more and he didn't. They shouldn't have let the word come from Trump tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.